Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays. The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, apparently now with two frames per second for maximum cinematicness. Ha 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 ha. Okay, we're gonna move on here from that terrible joke. Um, what are these eyes? It's a syringe. Is it uh, growth hormones? It's. I, I'm gonna have no way to tell. One TR8 Q312 with how to jump. Three HP. Looks like decent damage. Um, you know what? I think it is growth hormones. Might be speedball though. We are very very fast. I guess it's not enough to know, um, you know, what the syringe's colors are when you see them. If we're gonna be playing as Eden, we also need to know what visual effects they give us. Fuck. Anyway, um, this seems like a decent start. You know, rate of fire is, uh, nothing to write home about. Speed is off the charts, so one speed down pill does not completely hinder us. How to jump is fine, um, I'll be looking to replace it because I'm a piece of garbage who doesn't know how to use it properly. Alright, I guess we're done with that room. I've decided that we are done with that room. Um, but we know how to use it, you know, roughly uh, adequately. And I've got to admit, you know, getting the, uh, getting the onk rate off the bat is an acceptable item to make sure that we're probably not going to die in the first couple of floors. Even if we really do encounter, like, the worst floors that we could possibly imagine. So, I'm pretty stoked about that. We've got a pretty easy, uh, path to survival ahead of us. And... Surviving, I often find, is the first first path to not dying. Okay, so thanks to everybody who told me this tip, which is basically that if you leave the room uh, after you've spawned all the bombs from the tower or from Anarchist Cookbook, then when you come back in, they won't actually... Because they'll all explode simulta uh, simultaneously, they'll all uh, have no effect on one another, or none of them will have an effect on any of the other ones. It's probably a much you know sounder way to put that. Um, so basically, instead of worrying about like, okay, this bomb went down first, so that's gonna knock this bomb in this direction, which might knock it into me, etc., 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 you just make sure you're not standing within, you know, like one hitbox of any bombs, and then you're totally fine. Very useful tip, especially since we had uh, all those runs. We had like three or four runs in quick succession as Eden that had uh, Anarchist Cookbook as the starting items. Just a li quick little tip, you know. That's why I like Isaac. I keep getting dumber and they keep staying the same age. Doesn't really make any sense. But what I was going to say is that, um, you know, I, I keep learning these, you know, little tips and tricks. And of course they get more minute. You know, it's no longer like, don't take red hard damage and you might get a deal with the devil. Now it's like, um, you know, stuff like that. Leave the room if you use a tower card or anarchist cookbook so the bombs don't interact with one another. But because, uh, you know, the discoveries are more precious now because there's rare, they're, they're rarer, um, they mean more to me even at that low level. So, or that, you know, niche level. So I'm pretty excited by the, the world we live in here and the fact that it just keeps paying out with endless wonders. Now, I really, it's a bit selfish, but I would like to, oh, Jesus, not have to fight, um the haunt on this floor. I'd like to not fight the haunt at all, but if we could fight Pin on this floor and then maybe next floor fight a difficult boss after we've picked up another item or two, like, I'm not in love with our, uh, our damage dealing potential right now. Not that it's awful. You know, we have had a lot worse, uh, recently. You don't need me to bring up, you know, run 652 for the 300th time. I didn't want this bomb that badly, but if I can get it, why not? See if maybe there's an eternal heart in it for us. Maybe a quarter or some money. Wow. Wow. I jumped, but I landed on top of the spiders. Oh, that was poor play. All right, what do we got? We got the haunts. We got the power. It's not that bad. Um, hopefully we live here. But again, if we if we respawn with the Ankh, shit, man. At least we respawn with the Ankh. We become Blue Baby. I don't know what that actually means for us. Um, I guess it means that all HP will never be HP. That's actually kind of scary um, because I do want red hearts instead of spirit hearts. So let's just try not to die here. But again, it is nice to know that we have that little extra insurance policy in case things do go terribly wrong. Oh, that's the that's a good start to things going terribly wrong. Okay. How do we do this? You're not supposed to fight this the way I'm fighting it. So let's take a second and realize that we can break the pattern we're in. We don't need to constantly make bad decisions here. Don't fight the haunt in the stupid way. Fight it in the smart way. You can die after this room. After you've gone through the trouble of uh, fighting this guy, you probably don't want to die before he actually, you know, kicks the bucket himself. Good stuff. We're playing pretty defensively. I know how, or I love how I said, let's not fight him the way we've been fighting him. And now I'm fighting him the way I've been fighting him anyway, but I feel more careful about it. It's only, um, good, good pass. Good pass. It's only the, um, the beam that I'm worried about because it doesn't telegraph much. It comes out so quickly. Nice shot to finish it off. 
Um, that is an evil upgrade, so we're probably going to live a little longer on this run. Live a little bit. Live a little bit of your life to me. Doesn't really make any sense. Um, what do you think? Secret room? I think it's worth a shot. I don't know. I don't think I'm passing up Tinted Rocks. Either way, we picked up, uh, like 20 cents. 19, followed by another two there. So 21 cents with that one bomb. So that's a pretty smoking deal. We will buy this. We will buy this. Um, we may not buy the battery to start with here. Like, BFFs, we don't have anything uh, that benefits from BFFs right now. But we also don't have anything that uh, benefits from the battery right now. So which of the two would I rather have? That's a great question. I'm ha thank you for asking. All right, let's get redemption for our no bombs for sale moment a few episodes ago. We will buy this bomb. And then we will... Uh, I mean, we could probably place it in the center. But I want to make sure I can get out. So I'm a little nervous about that. That did get the job done, and we got Cricket's Head. That's a huge turn of events for us. Damage is going to be nuts. Still lacking DPS a little bit, but the, the extra damage from Cricket's Head is so worth it. Obviously, we're behind schedule here. Like, Boss Rush is not looking too strong already. So minor in comparison to the guaranteed damage we picked up. I'm excited. Let's head down to the next floor. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Lucky us. Thank God there was a bomb for sale there. All right, so we got the chest again. Uh, the good news is... You know, you're probably looking at Fistula. Or sorry, that's the bad news. The, the good news is you're probably looking at Pin. The bad news is Fistula could theoretically show up. I was also... I was, at the same time that I said that I was running through the calculations in my head, like, how many shots will it take me to kill these guys? I'm going to guess two, and then it was two. But I was like, well, I don't want to brag about it because it makes you look like kind of a smug piece of garbage. So, um... You know, there's, it's, there's more going on behind the scenes here than you just uh, hear coming out of my mouth at any given time. Not much more, but a little bit more. Uh, beautiful. We might as well blow these up. We get uh, the bookended pots here. There's one. There's another. Didn't get anything out of them, but that's okay. I don't really want to use a pot or use a bomb to blow up six pots. Uh, not really necessary, I think. But I will look to see if we get bombs or key. Bad trip. Bit of a disappointment, obviously. I mean, I think that's a non-controversial statement there. Bad trip is... Uh, it's good at times, but that was not one of those times. Let's check out our item room. It contains piercing shots, well worth it, and uh, does not have me second-guessing my decision to go to the item room instead of the shop. Such a good item. The only thing I'm worried about is, uh, you know, the age-old conundrum of can we pick up a, an expensive three-hard deal on a deal with the devil if we only have one and a half spirit arts. I never know if we can buy it, or I never remember, I should say, if we can buy it and then... Um, you know, just die and respawn with the Ankh, or what happens? Like, if we can't buy it and thus we lose our chance. I don't know. It's Pin, which I think is not unexpected at all. Hopefully we just get a single Red Heart here, or, or more than one Red Heart, I guess, if we could. But, uh, um, that would allow us to pick up a one Red Heart deal, but that is not going to be the case. Two of Diamonds. It's nice. It's very good. Okay, so we've settled it. We can buy it. Then we will die. Was it worth it for Headless Baby? No, but was it worth it for uh, the Deal with the Devil precedent? Possibly. Uh, Two of Diamonds is also great. If we could just get into our shop. Ooh, a little scared. Range up's good. Speed up's good. Explosive Diarrhea! Okay, leave and then re-enter. Unfortunately, I should have popped this closer to our um, entrance to the shop, but we're going to be able to do that anyway. Because we got another explosive diarrhea pill there. Amazingly so. So that was unexpected, but totally got the job done. I'm very sorry how to jump, but we are going to say goodbye to you for now. And we're going to leave and use Pandora's box immediately on the next floor. Because I want that payout ASAP. In case we get a better space bar and we can pick it up right away. Alright, let's do this. The only downside is if it's HP. Which it isn't. It would have only been... Uh, spirit Hearts, I think, because we're Blue Baby. Now, sometimes having Spirit Hearts instead of Red Hearts is better, but uh, usually that's in the late game. In the early game, we want to kind of stick with, you know, Red Heart meta because it's a lot safer. But we don't have a lot to complain about right now. Justice is good. We'll use that uh, probably right now. Um, in case it's a Troll Bomb, we might want to pop it in, in between some mushrooms like we did there. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a good situation to be in. We have a lot of damage. BFFs, uh, you know, works well with at least little Steven. I don't know if it affects the damage uh, from the creep of Headless Baby, but I'm happy to have it. It has good upside in the future. We have uh, good consumables to, a, to an extent. 
We have deal with the devil precedent. And we have really high damage uh, ourselves as well. And piercing shots works, you know, really well, obviously, in conjunction with that. Before we find our uh, fight our boss, I want to make sure that we've checked out the shop. Ah, uh, that was poor. But I want to make sure we check out the shop because I want to make sure I have more than enough spirit hearts to actually take a deal and live. This feels like a second secret room to me. Look at the way it's, like, framed perfectly with those two stones there. Alright, I was incorrect, but... It did look good. I think you gotta, you gotta hand me that one. And we still uh, need to find our item room as well. I'm still hoping for, I guess at this point, just raw HP. Uh, I, I mean, I realize that it will be spirit hearts, as we've talked about many, many times in the past, but uh, I think it's still valuable for us to get as much raw HP as possible because we don't have any other defensive items right now. So if we can get a relic, a miter, you know, anything along those lines, Book of Revelations, Satanic Bible, um... Even a Gimpy, even though I wouldn't wouldn't be my number one choice. Blank card is actually really good when we have no other spacebar items. Uh, and we'll take this just for safekeeping right now. And next time we get a card, too bad we didn't save that judgment card, but next time we get a card, we'll uh, be able to duplicate it. So something like the Hierophant pretty much becomes an instant win for us now. Not an instant win, it would probably take like another 30 or 40 minutes, but you get the idea. More bombs. Can't... Uh can't justify going to the curse room yet. So obviously in the future it's going to be something that's on my to-do list. Sucks that I couldn't get over to this bomb, but whatever. We got a tinted rock here for another spirit heart and nothing in there. And I'll tell you what, now I will go into uh, the curse room because we have an extra spirit heart that we can draw from. Sucks that it didn't really work out. Alright. We picked up a little bit more money in the process as well. Not that that's particularly relevant. Where the heck is our secret room? I've been looking like half-assed for it here, but there's so many kind of weird permutations. I think it's got to be like there. All right, I was incorrect. No pills out of that one either. Uh, let's just... Uh, actually, now that I think about it, I'm like, this feels like a second secret room in the waiting. We'll try it up here just because we get money if it fails, but I was thinking to the right side might be better. But, you know, four cents for a bomb is still relatively acceptable. I was hoping maybe we'd get a crawl space out of that. All right, um... Some good stuff and a little bit of bad stuff on this floor so far. Dark one is no problem. This blank card, man, has me wishing for, like, a cardboard box payout here. Or, you know, with our damage being so good but our HP being so low, this is actually a really nice time for us to, uh, get a Krampus fight and pick up Lump of Coal. That would also be fine. We just got regular HP. It's a spirit heart. I'm not going to complain, we could use that HP, but I'm, it, it could have been better. What's our time at right now? 11 minutes, so we're about a minute and a half behind schedule. Oh, fuck. There goes our HP upgrade. <laughs> we're a minute and a half behind schedule for uh, Boss Rush, but I think that's actually, that represents an improvement in our splits from recently, but again, that shouldn't be the number one thing on our to-do list right now. We should be concerned with milking every floor to see if we can get a card or something like that, so... Other big pickups now for us become like starter deck. If we can get a starter deck pickup, that's lovely. Um, if we could get a... I don't really want deck of cards. If we could get Stompy or Thunder Thighs or something like it so that we can walk on skulls and get some cards, that would be good. Now admittedly, we could use Doctor's Remote. Ah, da, 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 da. We could use Doctor's Remote kind of interestingly here. With Blank Card, because we have nothing to use with Blank Card. We could just uh, pop it whenever we wanted to teleport. You can get error rooms with Doctor's Remote, I believe. So there's some interesting things that can be accomplished here, I think. I'm going to try something weird. Swallowed Penny's not that big of a get for us right now. So maybe the teleportation is better. We can do things like open this up, take everything, and then just fuck off. So we kind of used Doctor's Remote to create uh, like a pseudo teleport item. Teleport's normally pretty bad, but... This time, teleport's not taking up our spacebar slot, so that kind of makes it a little bit better, I guess. Ooh, I thought I'd be able to get out of that a little bit more easily, but we're at our shop. This is where we want to be. Pick up uh, a few spirit hearts. Well, probably like one spirit heart, because that's all they sell. And then uh, trade it in to a deal with the devil for a defensive item or a really, really good offensive item. And see how the run looks after that. Okay, we get a spirit heart. Um, I, I really do not want to pay 15 cents for one card. Or 20 cents for two. I mean, it becomes a better deal at that point. But 
Ooh, I'd like to have a little bit more money before I sign off on that deal. There is an arcade. We can't really play it, if you know what I mean. I don't know why I said if you know what I mean as if it was a euphemism. I uh, can't really play it, can you, governor? I don't know where I was going with that one either. Let me apologize to uh, the world's people for that one. How should I use teleport? Um, maybe if we come across a curse room, we can teleport out. I'm trying not to fight the boss, or I'm, I'm choosing not to fight the boss just yet because I want to see if maybe we get a better item room in advance that maybe we can, you know get some HP from, may help us make a more informed decision. As much as I love the shears, and you know that I do, I'm gonna choose to ignore that right now as well, because I, um, I like the idea of, I, not only I, I like the idea for absurdity's sake, but for strategy's sake, I like the idea of this blank card play, uh, and, and seeing what we could possibly, you know, make happen off of it. Fantastic. And I still squandered it. That's all right. One hit is not the end of the world here. Let's not take a defeatist attitude with us. Ah, oh, Christ. <laughs> Be cool. Be cool. We got the shot speed to stay on the other side of the map. I'm going to take left hand here. Uh, we don't need teleport probably anymore. And the left hand does give us that guppy possibility. And who knows if maybe we'll have another chance to become guppy. Uh, or a better chance to become guppy right after this floor that we're dealing with right now. Oh, jeez. Uh, like on this deal with the devil fight, you never know. You want to look for a second secret room? I kind of want to look for a second secret room. I still don't want to... I don't want to do this card bullshit. I feel like a second secret room would be here or here. Let's try here. Got lucky. Uh, okay. Okay, this is interesting. We could probably play that for more spirit hearts. Okay, let's let's try to play that first. I've got a plan here. We're hoping for spirit hearts. I'll go down to 15. Shit, okay. I hope that I had hoped that that would work out before that. Now that we're at 15, I'm like, let's go in here, let's buy a card instead of the stopwatch. Yes, I know I'm an idiot. Now we got blank card, the fool, which at least gives us the ability to teleport. <sighs> That's not really what I was looking for though. I was hoping for like, you just buy it and you'd be like, oh, it's the hero font. Game over, but. You know, can't always get what you want. It's all right. We have another item coming quickly here. Uh, I would like to buy the battery, maybe get another card. I would like to play that to fortune teller a little bit more. I probably should have just committed to the fortune teller in the hopes of getting like um, more spirit hearts or a, uh, a crystal ball. But I, I tried to have uh, you know a sampler pack, and I, I think I've ended up with a lot of stuff that I don't like as a result. You know, should have just picked up something that I was a fan of. One of these days, I'm gonna. Sink these shots. I'm telling you, here we go. I'm in the groove. I'm in the groove. And we're done. HP. That's one spirit heart. Could use it though. And <laughs> perfect timing. Spirit hearts? That is not spirit hearts. That's bombs. Uh, I can't really afford to pick up Guppy's hairball. Let me take a moment to check this Skype message. Oh lord. Okay. It's not actually an oh lordable offense there. Um, sweets. I don't know. Do I take the hairball? It's a little scary. I think I'm going to do it though. Why take the hairball? Because we have left hand. It's a super big risk. But it's one that I'm going to take. Alright, let's try it. Definitely a situation in which I probably should have been more defensive, but we're about to find out. And I really, like, this is not just me making an absurd decision to be like, Hey! I'm Northern Lion, I'm a clown! No, it's like, this is, I think that this is a good strategic choice that just happens to scare me. And I hate when people are like, you know, oh, if something scares you, that means you should do it. You know, it's, yeah, okay, just go jump into the jaws of a, a, a lion or something like that, if that's your, if that's your plan. Sometimes fear is well warranted, but in this case, I feel like We've got a good chance of coming out on the other side with a, a workable run. Okay, that... You got the greatest hitbox of all time, apparently. My mistake. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Good threading of the needle. Don't jump. Don't jump. Okay. Balls of steel. Speed down! I immediately regret my decision. I should have stuck with the HP. <laughs> Secret room. Oh, yes. 
That's not Black Lotus, but I like it nonetheless. Okay, okay. Well, we lose our triangle tears, but we got shielded tears. Oh, I like you, but we can't do it yet. Not here. Someone will find out. Ah, okay. Uh, spirit hearts. Spirit hearts in the fire. It's all right. This room has never made me shit my pants more than right now. Now remember, there's a there's a spot where you cannot get out of the dodge here. Good stuff. We're gonna have to do this big room. I hate it. I wish we didn't have to do this immediately. These enemies are a clusterfuck. Beep boop, beep boop. Um, good stuff. Two down. We outsmarted them. Curse room. Mm, not super interested right now. Would literally kill us to go inside. Don't see any tinted rocks. This room should be easy enough. But I've been wrong before. That was a little scarier than I'd like to admit. I, was, I had my finger on the space bar there. And you know what? I'm extremely happy with my decision to teleport there. I know in the future what this room holds. As a result, we're able to put ourselves in a safer position. That was one of the smartest plays I, I could have made there, I think. Gotta land one. There we go. Oh, I was trying to get the skull. We didn't quite get it. I really wanted a black heart out of it. Come on, give me like a single payout here. You fucking dicks. All we need is one bomb and then we can get that tinted rock back there. Oh, I hate this room. Great stuff. Grape stuff. We're good, we're good. Don't let the dips kill you. Cre oh, blank card, credit card. Blank card, credit card. Run away. Never speak of this room again. Oh, we made it. Where is my bomb? I was promised a bomb. Well, we'll be able to get one here. Does credit card make everything free or just one item? I think it makes everything in the in the store free. No greed. No greed. Okay, well, we got to start with the obvious thing and take the spirit heart. Okay, so we can take everything. We'll take the ladder, we'll take the battery, take the speed upgrade. Have we done it? Have we turned this around? This is one of those ones where I think where you gotta say, if we've turned this around, we fucking earned it, man. Is this Curse of the Maze? No, where the heck was that spirit art then? Holy crap. Um, scary runs, man. Scary days. If I could go back in time, I think it's fair to say I might... I didn't mean to open that, I wanted this one instead. I think it's fair to say I might not have taken Guppy's hairball. Created a bit of a, a cumbersome situation, I cannot lie. Let's go see if we get a deal with the devil, because we don't need HP to press the space bar and take whatever the deal gives us. Whoo, boy, okay. Well, we, we shouldn't relax, because it's still, uh, you know, is possible for this to go terribly, terribly wrong. Without too much fuss, you know? Like, we're only... We only have two and a half hearts. This is still where I would probably be considering saying, like, hey, we could really use some HP on this run. Holy shit, we lived. <laughs> Woo! Thank God we didn't fight greed, by the way. Like, that's... Anti-greed, you're the real MVP of this one. We could have been in a, a very dangerous situation were it not for you. Is this where it all comes true for me? Is this where the dream comes to fruition? We fight the Fallen, he pays out with like nine lives. And then we get a, a deal with the devil guppy item. I believe in the dream. Just listen to the rhythm of my heart. You should be dead. One of you should be dead, certainly. Oh my god, we got another guppy item. And a deal with the devil. The deal with the devil is Krampus, but the prophecy is almost true. Oh, yeah, okay, shouldn't have stood there. That's a fair, fair assessment. Oh, man. Scary. Lump of coal, yes! Okay, well, oh, I forgot to pick it up. Fuck me. Oh, I forgot to pick it up. Fuck me. Fuck you. I forgot to pick it up. Fuck me. Fuck you. Oh, fuck me. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Me. What do we get here? I'm an idiot um, for not picking that up, obviously. I just, I slipped out the door, man. So I know that there's a curse room. I'm not interested in going to this curse room. I'm interested in keeping our spirit heart. I've learned my lesson. Maybe there's a guppy item in it. Maybe there isn't. I'm not gonna, <laughs> gonna try not to dwell on that missed lump of coal for no reason except for my own idiocy. It had been a little while since I made a, a game changing uh, mistake like that, so I'm excited, you know, it always leads to interesting uh, discourse in the comments for sure. 
Uh, we have one and a half spirit hearts. That means we can survive one hit regardless. And I gotta admit, blank card credit card is, is turning me into a believer here. Nothing wrong with that combination at all. We can actually use it multiple times per floor, at least until we get down to the areas where there's no shops. Okay, these guys did do some damage to me because I am a silly idiot. How did I... My brain... Thank you. Thank you, my brain. You've saved me a little bit of heartache by uh, allowing me to not take damage there, and I appreciate it, and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thanks for your support. Okay. Run. Sneak some shots in. Those are red chests. I gotta try. And it's bosses, which might be better just because there's less shit on the screen. It's not quite a guppy dream, though. Well, a few spiders, you know, it's, it's nice. It's not really what I'm looking for, though. But these enemies are not going to be too bad. Let's get some creep set up for when uh, Chubb spawns. Oh, that's not Chubb, that's Monstro! By God, that's Monstro's music. Now, when Monstro, you know, runs through Guppy's hairball, it, it takes a lot of damage. But let's try not to focus on that, because I'm concerned that I will be like, Hey, let's use Guppy's hairball as an offensive orbital. Very viable strategy. If you don't have one and a half, you know, hearts as your absolute amount of HP. So let's just pretend I didn't even, you know, notice that at any point in my Isaac career. Fight the boss. Oh, yeah, another message, another sky message. Mathis keep telling me that Adam Sandler followed you. Not Adam Sandler, Adam Sessler, sorry. Adam Sessler followed me on Twitter. <laughs> oh, better slow down Northern Lions game. Okay. Mom's, mom's hands. I don't like mom's hands. They scare me. But we're good. Oh! Could blow up these uh, skulls for um, perhaps a card. Or uh, a black card would also be very valuable, I think. Let's try it. This one's like dead center. Judgment. I'm just going to pop Judgment down there on the ground. We might as well play him. I mean, we don't uh, we don't need our money for anything else. Stop making creep, you scumbags. I, I can't tell which is your creep, which is my creep. Come on. Come on. HP. Give me HP, you son of a bitch. Ah. Ah! Ah! I don't need the wallets. Thank you, though. Um... So we got, oh, we're too fast. We're too fast. I have flown too close to the sun. Oh, mama, I'm afraid for my life from the long paw of the gup. Nine lives ain't showing here any minute, and I think I might fuck up. Oh, mama, I can hear Ryan crying. He's so scared and all alone. We'll just finish it. Hangman is coming down from the gallows, and I don't have very tonk 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 tonk. Anyway, please, please. <sighs> you fucker. Oh, but it's free. Oh, I forgot. I was so scared and all alone. That's okay though. Um, we got the we got the nail. Uh, which I don't want to keep because I got blank card credit cards, so. All future deals with the devil are free, which might pay out more than the nail and give us, you know, the defensive items or the, the offensive and defensive items from the deals with the devil as well. But I'll admit, it has crossed my mind that we could pick up the nail here and probably have an easier coasting time to victory. Um, another thing you might be thinking as well, there's a battery on the ground. Why not uh, pick up said battery with the nail and then just roll around with it? Well, the, the sad part about that is... Um, it's a great strategy, but we don't know if we're going to be guaranteed to deal with the devil, so we can't really, uh, you know, bet the house on it, you know? Maybe the car, but not the house. No. Well, I really wish I had kept that bomb now, because I will forever think that this is where our guppy dream, uh, would have come to fruition. What is it? Chariot. We'll take Chariot. We still got a shop to find. No, we won't take Chariot, because we still got a shop to find. Um... I didn't want to take Chariot, like, down. I just wanted to use it once, but I might as well have credit card ready for whenever we get to uh, the shop, which should contain a bomb. I'll be pissed if it's greed, man. We need a little bit more uh, luck than that. Oh, my God. Two bombs, please. 
Not greed. So, uh, we will blank card, credit card. Buy this, which will, of course, just give us another charge immediately. Oh! Balls of steel, so good. Okay. I'm gonna bomb this one. Just because it's closer. And... Health down. That's exciting. Paralysis. That was a big one. Pretty glad with my decision there. Um... Well, I guess there's nothing more to say, except for it's time to fight the boss. I'll admit that, you know, Blank Card Chariot card has a little bit of a pull to it. It's got a siren song, but... I'm, uh... I'm more interested in the potential ramifications of our Blank Card Credit Card run here. I'm attached to it. Hopefully we don't qualify for a deal with the devil here, because we've already seen it and, you know, gotten it. And then we get a deal with the devil on our next floor instead, or in addition. And, you know, that in addition gives us the remix to Ignition, hot and fresh out of the kitchen. Mama rolling that body. Got every man in here wishing, which seems presumptuous to me. But, you know, different strokes for different folks? I guess not. Um, oh, I knew I was going to get hit there. And there's our, there's our nail. And uh, we're going to say goodbye to it. Goodbye, nail. It's been nice. Um, maybe in another life, we'll have a chance. For now, no such luck. We're just not uh, not in the right place for one another right now. So I'm scared. Like, our damage is okay. And I do mean okay. Like, it's not amazing or anything like that. Think of all the deals of the devil we've gotten. You know, none of them have really taken our damage too far over the top. We're still pretty much rolling on uh, starting damage plus Cricket's head. I don't even think... Maybe we got the pentagram? I can't remember. But we have two guppy items. All is forgiven if we just finish this guppy uh, setup off. Especially if the finish is nine lives. Gives us an incredible offensive push and an incredible defensive push. All at the same time. I believe in you. You can do this deal with the devil. Or even curse room. You know, I'm not going to be picky, but it's going to be a little harder to motivate me to go into a curse room. Because I'm scared. Like a lot. I'm a lot scared. I can't believe I left behind Lump of Coal, man. Maybe that people are probably saying, maybe your damage would be better if you hadn't left behind Lump of Coal like an idiot. This is indisputable. There's no maybe required, you snarky sons of bitches. I made a mistake, you know? You never get to school, find out you left your lunch behind? Probably not, because your mom puts it in your backpack for you. hi -oh! Bad trip, speed up. Alright, well, we want speed up. Bad trip does nothing for us. Credit card does very little after this floor, so we're going to feel pretty stupid if, um... If we don't get a, uh, another card after this, or especially if we don't get a deal with the devil on this floor, it's like, well, we should have taken the chariot ages ago. And by ages ago, I mean one floor ago. Which is an age, if it's very inconveniently timed, if you think about it. You know, the age has to roll over at some point. Very, just scared, even though we have shielded tears, I'm like... I'm not happy with the way that this looks. This guy's too fast for us, man. There we go. Two bombs at least allows us to blow up some tinted rocks, if we are able to find any. Those do not appear to be tinted rocks. I've been wrong before. You know what would be awesome? Is to find a crawl space. We gotta try. Oh, the dream! It happens! What's new, pussycat? Thank you. What's new, pussycat? Thank you, Edmund. Boom, 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 boom. Edmund. Boom, 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 boom. I'm not going to continue, but I want to. Rest assured that I want to. Oh, all is forgiven. So we have, like, no HP. But that's all right. It's exactly the situation we, we asked for. We have great defense now. Oh, we made it out of that, which surprised me. We have great defense, great offense. Defense, admittedly... Could benefit from maybe a couple more hearts, but uh, hopefully that'll come in time. We've accomplished the difficult part. And I'm not even going to drop uh, left hand right now, because I want more spirit hearts if we can swing them. And red chests do have a, a good chance to drop that. We don't have Guppy's Tail, so we're not missing out on golden chests. We couldn't open them anyway, even if we had it, so... Ooh, okay. <laughs> Conquest. I don't really want the white pony, because we already have the ability to fly. Okay, a little, big, a little bit of a surprise there. We made it, though. And there is a Tinted Rock. Worth it. 
I'm going to stick with, uh... I'm gonna stick with left hand for now, and we're gonna stick with blank card credit card just because there's nothing else to offer. No deal with the devil sucks, but whatever. We're, we're building the winning run here. And there is another Tinted Rock. This is how it all works out for us here. Who? okay. Well, where are you fuckboys who said it was the wrong decision to take Guppy's hairball? <laughs> the dream has come true. Somewhat surprisingly, it would probably be a fair way to put it, but uh, it's come true regardless. Ooh, blank card Hagalaz. Blank card, two of spades. Blank card, Hierophant. That is the win. Blank card, Hierophant is our winning card. Um, we might as well use two of spades right now. Which I probably should have been able to divine earlier. But uh, blank card hero font with a 9 volt means that, you know, if you just tune into this run at the very end, you're going to be like, oh, just another classic Northern Lion run, guppy uh, and full spirit hearts. You're going to miss out on all the juicy ass, like, Isaac related drama that we had to start this one off, where it really appeared for a long time that I was destined for death. Instead, we're sitting pretty right here. That was fast. That was a very fast turnaround. Uh, we also found our our boss fight right away. Yeah, let's just throw away a key, because fuck it, you know? Everyone's using Bluetooth locks these days anyway. Oh, there we go. All right. Now we're good. And we have shielded tears, so we can pretty much, like, get up close and durstinal here. Should not be much of a problem. Guppy's hairball is super small because it hasn't had to kill anything in a while. I don't know what it's called. I just know the sound it makes when it takes a man's life. After that complete non sequitur, let's move along here. Um, it's a real sobering realization to notice how quickly we are killing Monstro 2 in relation to how quickly we killed Monstro 2 like two floors ago. Yeah, people get stronger as the game goes on. We know, Dad. Yeah, but like, this is real strong. I know that there's some smug fuckboy out there right now that is going, how much you want to bet he forgets to drop the left hand. Find this man in the comments and shame him because I have dropped it. Uh, go fuck yourself. Uh, okay, I don't mean it like that. Thank you for the support. You guys keep helping me uh, be able to do what I do. But still, at the same time, you have so little faith. I see it in Twitch chat all the time. People go, hey, how much you want to bet he fucks this one up. And then when I don't fuck it up, they don't go, sorry. They're just like, well, well, you could have fucked it up, so, you know, I'm not going to apologize. Yo, I got rid of it, dog. Don't sweat it. Yo, yeah, but you fucked it up by not picking up Maggie's Faith. I don't want Maggie's Faith. I'm, I'm happy with my invincibility right now, you, you straw man that I'm making up right now. But there are people like this that exist, I'm sure. Well, I'm happy we got a key there. Because were it not for this key, I would uh, not be able to open everything. Oh, I did leave some Spirit Hearts behind, but that's all right. I'm just going to wait for the next... Uh, here a font payout anyway, but um, yeah, I don't I don't remember what I was talking about before I got off on that uh, very self-aggrandizing rant. I'll ignore you, but I would like you to give me a key. But being honest, we're probably gonna get a key by the next floor or on the next floor anyway, and our luck stat doesn't seem that good, so I don't expect too many chests to drop. Is this the correct way? This is the correct way. I'm just gonna like our rate of fire is good enough that I don't think he can sneak a shot in, so I'm just gonna kind of stand. Little bit back here, and we'll take the opportunity to take out the uh, angel fetuses as they spawn. I'm assuming the flies will help us out on occasion as well. Maybe we can get Guppy's hairball in there to do some uh, extra damage. Guppy's hairball, ah, you got me. Guppy's hairball might be like our best per capita damage dealer, which is a sentence that makes no sense, but you get the idea. Uh, that, how's he almost sneaking shots in here? I thought our hitbox and our tears would be a little bit larger than this. And we got one more wave. So our damage still leaves a little bit to be desired. Hopefully no Curse of the Blind on the next floor so we can avoid making that problem even worse. <laughs> Hopefully. Maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. Curse of the Blind. Alright. Like I said, hopefully that doesn't happen. The Halo. Ah, uh, fucks up nothing. Oh right, we don't need to worry about HP because we're Blue Baby. Sad Onion. Firing pretty quick. Loki's Horns. Interesting. Um, all things considered, a pretty good uh, series of items in the chest. All stats up. Uh, pretty nice DPS upgrade. And then Loki's Horns. Eh, you know, Loki's Horns a little bit less useful probably, but it is what it is. I'm not going to sweat it too much. Loki's Horns with Shielded Tears might even be a little bit better than I'm giving it credit for. Because it could be like, it could block tears coming in from all angles. That'll probably happen once over the course of the entire floor, but still. Then we got Pisces. 
Um, the knockback is not really going to be a big factor because we have piercing shots, so it's going to be mostly um, mostly just a tears upgrade on an absolute scale, which is awesome because we got sad onion as well, and our damage is pretty solid, so we can uh, we can make something good happen there. And with Loki's horns, maybe a room like this we can kill another enemy. Although I, I'm still thinking like our uh, luck stat is low enough that we're not going to be Loki's horning it too much. Oh, a little chubby. It's okay. Mostly I'm stoked that we continue to find our boss fight so early. Again, people are going to look, they're going to skim to the end of the video. Oh, another Northern Lion scum guppy run. Yo, you don't know what I got through, what I went through to get on this shit, okay? This run was a hassle, man. I thought we were going to lose our streak, our, our four or five streak temporarily. Instead, we managed to win with, uh, you know, relative ease at the end, but... It was all because of one lucky red chest that saved the day for us. For now, though, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, though, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.